There's something I tell your friends that you all should know. If you want to stay toasty through the wind and the snow, you cannot be sitting around, can't be wasting time when the air is cool and the weather is prime. You ain't got much money, I think that you should get off of that couch and go. Long around February, you'll be wishing that you had more wood than you figured. I said your wood pile looks so bad. Remember when you thought it was really big once? Now you just had enough for a couple more months. Remember last winter? I think that you should quit watching Phil Donahue and go. I want to tell you a little story about the first chainsaw I ever bought. We'd moved to Coon Valley. I could not get served in the bars. I was looking through the paper one day, and I seen, I seen this ad from Valley Mall at Sears. It said, Craftsman 16-inch Barracuda Blade Craftsman Chainsaw, $199.95. So I jump in my scout, and I drive 20 miles. I go out to Valley View, and I go in the store, and I find this salesman. And he's going to help you. And I said, I'm looking for the 16-inch Barracuda Blade Craftsman Chainsaw for $199.95. And I said it like that because I didn't want him making fun of my hair. I said, I said, long hairs can cut wood too. And I talked through my teeth like that. And then he went over to the shelf and he picked one up and he said, you mean this one? I said, that's the one I want. And then he put it down. And then he went back in the back room and he came out with this box. Cash or charge, he said. I said, I'll charge it. I pulled out my, my card. I charged it. I have now paid $543.16 on that chainsaw. But, you know, all, the t all this time, now I had my first chainsaw. It was in the box, you know, and I'm driving home, and I'm starting to feel why people are thinking, why people think that it's very masculine and macho to have a chainsaw. I mean, I could feel the adrenaline pumping through my veins. I was feeling more masculine all the time. I was getting thirsty for that first beer. I get home, you know, I open up the box. There's about 800 pieces in there. I pull out the instruction manual on how to put it together. It's 128 pages long. Took me an hour and a half just to get the knots out of the blade. And I want to tell you something about a Barracuda blade, friends. Barracuda blade is not like a standard chainsaw blade. It's got little teeth on it that look like shark's teeth. And they are so sharp you could shave the legs of a mosquito. In Coon Valley, they say, oof, da, that's a cotton sucker. So I put the chainsaw together, man. I put it together. It took me about eight hours. I finally got it together. I put the gas in and I put the oil in. I'm reading through the, I'm reading through the instruction manual now, friends, and here's what it says. It says, always wear tight-fitting clothes. It's no wonder all the guys get together to cut wood, you know, put their tight-fitting clothes. <laughs> it's like in Coon Valley, you know, they say things like, they go like this. Hey, we're gonna have a little wood cutting party, you know, everybody bring a chainsaw, have the girls bring a covered dish. And I always say, well, is it okay if my wife brings the chainsaw and I bring the covered dish? And they haven't figured out how to deal with that yet. <laughs> Nevertheless, now I got my chainsaw put together. You know, I put the gas in, I put the oil in, you know, I put my tight-fitting clothes on. And all the time I'm feeling macho and I'm, I'm feeling more masculine, you know, and the time is coming. I take it outside, I can't wait to start it up. I grab a hold of that rip cord, I give it a pull. She didn't pop off, you know. I'll give another pull. She didn't pop off either. But, and then there was a, some mild profanity, you know. No big thing. And then I really gave it to her. And it finally started up okay, you know. Ooh, I felt it rotating and vibrating in my hands, and I said, Yes, sir, Ian. I'm saying things to myself like, Clay Bunyan, Paul Rhinus. <laughs> you know, and it's sounding better to me all the time. You know? All right, so now I take my chainsaw. I've got it running okay, you know. I tighten up the blade. I made a few initial cuts in the stump. That's what it said to do in the manual. Loosen up the blade, tighten it up, loosen it up, tighten it up, loosen it up, tighten it up. I finally am ready to go. Now I take my chainsaw. 
I walk past the barn, I walk past the, the cows, I walk past the pigs, I, I walk past the garden area, I go down the ridge road, past all the corn, and I get to the bottom of the hill, and I figure out rule number one of the Clarinus Woodcutter's Manual. Never go under, never go over an electric fence with a chainsaw. It only took me one time to discover that. Okay, now I'm over the electric fence, I'm down in the woods, and I'm ready to cut wood, and I'm walking down the ridge road, and I'm saying things to myself. I'm feeling real cocky, you know. I'm going like this, I'm saying. I'm walking down the ridge road. I'm feeling so fine. I'm gonna tell you my friends, I got cutting on my mind. I'm making up little ditties and little poems and I'm having a lot of fun, you know. I'm getting close to that first log. And I got another poem all worked up. I look over and I say, Ooh, Lordy Mama, it ain't no joke. I look over to my right side and there's a chunk of oak. <laughs> all right, now oak's a pretty hard wood, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my chainsaw now, fire it up, and here we go, cut some oak. Oh, I see what they mean. <laughs> I'm feeling so good, you know. Right now, I feel like I could like punch out Mr. T. You know? Oh, it was nice, you know. Well, now I'm feeling cocky, my friends, and I'm feeling like the whole woodland is my realm. <laughs> I look over to my right side, and there's a chunk of red elm. Mm. Now, red elm is considered to be the hardest of hardwoods where I come from. I mean, like, if you throw a chunk of red elm in your fire overnight, it is going to be there in the morning. This is it's just going to be a little, one little ember the size of a golf ball. It's going to be bright red. It's going to have an R factor of five billion. And that little one-size golf ball ember of dense red elm will heat your house for approximately 13 days, 7 hours, 6 minutes, and 32 seconds. Okay. You know, now I've also found out that the only thing denser than Red Elm is people who charge chainsaws at Sears. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to cut some nice, hard Red Elm. something now. <laughs> Observation number two of the Clay Rhinus Woodcutter's Manual. Buy some goggles. <laughs> I come out of that red right I'm going like this. <laughs> so I jump in the scout, I drive out the Valley View Mall, I go about 20 miles, I drive out the Valley View Mall, I go in and I say, I'm looking for a set of goggles and don't make fun of my hair about it. <laughs> I get out the Valley View Mall and the guy says, this is what you're looking for? I said, yeah, they're on special, aren't they? And he said, yeah, $4.99. So I got out my charge card. I, I charged it and I've now paid $11.13 on them goggles. But I had them, you know, so I take them home. Now I'm back in the woods. I'm feeling cocky and I'm wiggling my, my tush, you know. And I'm saying, Lord, I'm a little sore now, and just maybe I should have gone to church. <laughs> I look around behind me, and there's a chunk of birch. Now, birch is considered to be a hard wood where I come from. I do not know who wrote that in the rule books, because let me tell you something. You put a piece of birch in your stove, and it goes like this. Poof. <laughs> they say it's a, great, it's a great wood for smoking meats. And if, of course, if you're camping and you forget your toilet paper, you can always build a canoe and float to the next town. Use a bathroom. Okay, I'm gonna cut some birch now. You pack up your chainsaw, go just west of the farm. You can work on a job up, staying toasty and warm. They say that wood warms you four, maybe five or six times. Let me see now with the cutting and splitting and stacking and hauling. You know the burn is the best part. It feels so fine. You might rather watch TV, but I think that you should put down that beer and go.